Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me in the ocean just off KSC with my newest invention. This is the newest addition to the ter Territorial Arctic Protection Entente's fleet. It is my aircraft carrier. It carries aircraft places. And it kind of is an aircraft, but I'll get around to why in a little bit. And uh, But right now, it's just a matter of, well, taking a look at the basic stuff. It's fairly simple. It's not fully done yet, I'd just like to say that. It's still a prototype. But it, it, it's looking pretty good right now. I've added a few more things to it. Um, it's got this big turret up front just to like fight away missiles and maybe shoot down the odd plane. But it's not going to be too heavily armed because it's a carrier, not a destroyer or a frigate. Obviously it has a bridge which I'd like to armor a little more. And some crew cabins which are all protected. And these fins and things to keep it stable because it can go about 80 meters a second or 200 miles an hour-ish. Um, and it's powered by these Lancaster engines. They're quite big. They're really good. I think they're from Fire Spitter. Um, has a lot of torque because it's massive. And there's a couple of helicopters on it. Uh, I'll talk through a little bit more of that in a second. But basically, um, I want the, I want this to carry to be able to hold three helicopters. So you can see these are on the side pads. That's why it's um, outward. And that's why it's gone to its name, The Dagger, because it looks vaguely dagger-like. Um, but yeah, I had decided to put them out there so I could get a couple, uh, well, pretty much an extra aircraft on here. Um, I'm probably going to put another helicopter here-ish and then a VTOL here-ish. Uh, right now, they're pretty much just tacked on with these, like, bits of metal and decouplers. But, um, eventually I'd just like to be, well, I put them on for simplicity so I didn't have to actually land them on here. But I do have these robotic arms back here. They're not super functional right now, I haven't set up all the groups properly. But, uh, there's a rotational thing down here, meaning that they can rotate. Anyway, and then that one tips, this hinge tips it over towards the helicopter, and this one tips sideways just in case it's in an odd position. And they use grabbers just to, uh, well, just to grab the aircraft so I don't have to use docking ports and stuff because they're a little clunky. But yeah, it's fairly simple. I like this robotic arm idea. It means I can land anything and secure it, and it needs to be secured. And I will tell you for why. It needs to be secured because it's not just an aircraft carrier. It's a hovering aircraft carrier. Let's get this in the air very gently because I'm very worried it's going to break. So yeah, let's just hover this up. These hover pads, these anti-gravity motors, these are what I'm using. They're scaled up massively and they're powered by some scaled up RTGs because they pretty much just eat power. Um, but the reason I'm doing this is partly to cut down on the insane amount of parts I would need to use to actually um, keep this floating because you have to put air intakes on it and air intakes, you have to put a lot of air intakes and oh my god this isn't very stable and I totally forgot that I had this weird spinning problem but let's just gloss over that. Um, yeah, still in development, hence this weird spinning motion but uh, actually not as bad as it was um, <laughs> last time I tried to record this video. Uh, but yeah, so you, well, let's just try and control this a little bit. That's why it needs so many reaction wheels because it is just ridiculous. Um, ooh. Throttle down a little, maybe. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ. Why is it spinning so much? I don't know why it's spinning so much. That's one of the mysteries of the world. Like, why is Kim Kardashian famous? I mean, you know, it's just... Yeah. But uh, we'll just let it spin for a while. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, the reason it hovers is because, firstly, I get a lot of speed. Um, because if I'm not dragging through the water, there's a lot less resistance. And partly because, as I said, it cuts down on parts, and it's just generally pretty useful, and it means it can go on land. Although I wouldn't trust it to go on land, I prefer it on water. But yeah, this is basically just my solution to moving a lot of aircraft long distances. And it has to go fast because, oh my god, I'm just going to have to solve the spinning thing some other day. Why does it do this? Nobody knows. <laughs> just roll over, your dick. Just, just don't be a whore about it. Okay. Ooh! Did I just... No, no, and no, that's just oscillating the other way. I want to say this is a mod instability, or my fault. Hopefully my fault, because I can fix it if it's my fault. Um, go forwards. <laughs> okay, well, either who. Um, just, just, just don't be a dick. Whatever, I'll fix it some other day. Uh, anyway, this is my solution to moving a lot of aircraft 
relatively quickly. Um, it does obviously have to move quickly because the uh, in, in the real life you can just be like, oh well, it doesn't matter if I'm on the sea for four weeks or on a giant boat. But if I'm on the sea for four weeks, it's not going to be so fun. Everyone's like, Peter, where's the save file? I'm still sailing. So yeah, I'm not sure how useful it will be and if I'll have to maybe make it go even faster and secure these things even harder. That's why I have to have robot arms to secure them because it would be ridiculous going eight. Now it's just going backwards. Okay, good. That's 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 good. That's that's good. As you can see, very much in development. But yeah, I think it'll be good. Sail up to near a shore. Deploy some helicopters. Deploy a VTOL. It's also very good because helicopters have pretty short ranges. So if I can launch them from this, it's uh, pretty useful. Um, I I don't know. I I don't know what they're doing. Anyway, that is my aircraft carrier. I hope you're. Uh, Looking forward to seeing this on the battlefield, or more, the battle ocean. Um, maybe it'll not go... Maybe one of these engines is set to normal thrust. They should be set to reverse thrust, which... Okay, cool. Stop rotating! I can't click on you. Set normal thrust? No, it's pretty much just generic KSP fuckery. <laughs> A real tasking game, that's what you want. But yeah, I mean, obviously the helicopters can take off. I'm a little worried if I can let go of these. Um, because... Will they just fall off? Maybe? I oh yeah, I can't actually get in them now because I have to transfer... <laughs> oh, this video's falling apart, I'm just gonna end it here. But yeah, I could deploy helicopters, I kind of would. But I just fucked everything up and this won't stop spinning. But this is my, like, thing. Um, Oh yeah, I totally forgot it was flying. What the hell fell off? But yeah, I, I quite like how these down bits look, which help it float. They kind of make it look quite sinister, and uh, it will be sinister when it's murdering everybody. And when it's spinning towards you. It, that's its main attack. It spins at you. But uh, anyway, I should probably end this here. Because uh, not much else I can do now that it's spinning. Abandoned ship! Get the fuck out of here! Fucking, oh Jesus Christ, it's spinning. Re wow, that was awesome. Yep, he's dead. See you later, buddy. Have fun in the ocean. Luckily, it has these safety rails, which will stop you falling off unless you're not near one. Anyway, I should actually probably end this here. I've said that maybe three times now. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you're looking forward to seeing this carrier. I hope it spins less in the future. I hope I can get more planes on it, and I hope everything works awesomely. I'll see you next time. <laughs>